friends, welcome. My name is Missy. We are going to be going to three thrift stores today and two of them I have never been to before. And then also I'm going to be sharing my haul with you throughout this video, but it's going to be a little different kind of haul. So let's go. The first thrift store that we are at here today is one I have never been to before. This is the City Mission Thrift Store and this is in Washington, PA. Right here with this cup, I'm just trying to figure out what that sticker means on the bottom. I think 422 was actually the date that they got those in, I believe. So I'm trying to figure out all of the pricing. Some things are priced, some things are kind of color coded with a sticker, and then some of the things have prices on the shelves. So I'll definitely have to go back to this one a couple of times just to learn all of the pricing. And as you might be able to tell, I am fighting a good bit of a head cold, so you will hear that kind of throughout the video but I'm going to do my best today. I did think these lamps right here were really pretty. Now see on that tag it says $7.99 and $4.22. So the pricing was a little bit hard to figure out. So I am assuming these were $7.99 a piece and that they got them in on April the 22nd. But I thought they were really pretty. Not really anything I'm looking for in my home, but I did think that they were pretty. I thought that this little dish here right here was pretty as well for $1.99 made in Japan and just really pretty on the flower right there and then the gold foiling around the outside and then I'm wondering here coming up with this butter dish if it was donated with the lamps oh does it say there oh 423 so I guess it could have been and this one here was $3.99. I always like to check out the little creamers because I collect the Syracuse China creamers. That one there was 99 cents. And then it's always neat, I think, to find things in their original packaging, which was the case right here. And that was $5.99 for that little porcelain salt and pepper shaker set. And then they had these really pretty ones right here in the wood. And then there was another set back there behind them. was checking out this picture right here for $2.99. I do have other pictures like this or similar to this in a collection, so I wanted to check this one out. But then I thought the bottom of it right there had a lot of wear on it, so I did decide to leave it. Now coming up here just after these little cute lemon measuring cups, I'm going to share with you the first thing in my haul, and I'm going to share with you today what I purchased when I was out shopping on my birthday day, which was April the 18th. Decided to go ahead and film outside today so that you could get, oh, get a little look at my girls. Today is only the second day they've been outside. But the first thing that I got for my birthday were these adorable kitty cats. And they are from Japan. And I do collect the vintage cats. And aren't they just adorable? I thought the faces on these were just absolutely adorable. And I was lucky enough to get the pair for just three dollars. I think they are so cute. 
I had a wonderful birthday day. I actually had a super great weekend. The boys treated me on Saturday and then I had the day off on Monday for my birthday. And all I really wanted was to just be able to slow down, enjoy myself and not rush. And I did some shopping and I had a fabulous day. And I just want to say thank you to all of you who have wished me a happy birthday here on YouTube in the community tab on Instagram. Thank you so very much. I really, really appreciate it. And let me know out there if you have have an April birthday. Let me know down in the comments when it was and a happy birthday month to you. I would love to hear. Now this guy right here, I was checking him out. I thought he was very interesting for $4.99. I'm not quite sure though what he is. So if you know, please let me know. He was from Japan. Super cool. But if you know what he is, let me know that down in the comments. Now I think this little girl right here is going to end up being my regret of the day for $2.99 because she is a birthday bell. But also when I was looking here on the back, she is a Josco or Jasco, I think it's Josco, made in Taiwan, 1980. And we've just been talking about my birthday and I was born in 1980. So I'm not quite sure why I didn't pick her up. I think it was because at this point I was getting towards the end of the store and I just hadn't picked picked anything up yet and I didn't want to check out I don't think just for the one thing and then I'm looking at these kitty cats right here hoping maybe they were vintage but I was not sure so I went ahead and passed on these as well These were something else that I thought were really nice. They were just not the style again that I have in my home, but they were really nice for $3.99. And there was a set of them there. And I always like to find things in sets if you can, but really cute. I was trying to see there. I think those are little dogs that she has there. You can actually see the design. Yeah, better on the back side than the front. Okay, so we are going across the street now to Goodwill. So this is going to be our second stop of the day. This is also in Washington. PA and again I have never been here before so let's go on in and check it out This right here is a picture I can remember hanging in my grandmother's living room for years and years and years. It was $5.99. It did have the original tag on it right there as well, Fleck Brothers. And then I wasn't sure if that $17.96 on the back meant something or not. I did decide to leave this, um, but I should have got it for sentimental value. This tray right here is Courier and Ives, and I do have this print right here like in a little framed picture. This was $2.99 and very cute. I love all of the Courier and Ives prints, especially the ones for the holidays. And then this right here was so heavy. I'm not sure what this is. I don't know if it's chalkware or is there something like that. If you guys know, I'm always needing your help. Please let me know down in the comments below. It was $9.99. Again, something else that was just really neat, but not my style. And we're going to be coming up now on the second thing I purchased on my birthday day, and it is awesome. 
This piece right here, of course, I am ultra excited about. I have not gotten a piece of jadeite in such a long time. It is so hard to find. I did get this for $24 at like a new Valley Vendor Mall, so I'll have to take you to that here real soon in a video. But I grabbed this batter bowl for $24. I cannot wait to set this out with the rest of my collection. It does say Fire King on the bottom. I hope that you can see that there. And it is just in great shape. I cleaned it up with a little water and baking soda and it's just absolutely beautiful. If you're enjoying this video so far and you love thrifting and antiques and flea markets and yard sales and all things vintage, I would love for you to subscribe and join our family right now today. We would love to have you. And I have a question for you. Are you figuring out yet what the unthinkable thing is that happened today? Stay tuned. I thought this little set right here was really cute. It was $5.99. I have seen kind of things like this before, but never together like that with the little tray. So I thought that was really cute and I wanted to point that out to you guys. And then this little guy right here, I was checking out to see if it was Syracuse, China. But when I flipped it over, I noticed somebody had already pulled the tag back to see what the name on the bottom was. It looks like it says Warwick and it was $2.99. I did find some some Syracuse China coming up here next these little cups right here but the only things that I collect of that are the creamers These plates right here were really pretty with that blue around them. Just super pretty and I love the shape on them. 99 cents a piece, so a great price. And honestly, they look like they had hardly been used. But I wanted to go ahead right now and do our commenter shout out today. We're doing this every video this year, doing a commenter shout out. And our shout out today goes to an awesome fellow thrifter, Robin Johnson. What? So crazy that you found the same dog toy. So cool. Looks like you found a great flea market to go to. The first one of the year is always so fun. I always seem to go a bit crazy myself. Love your finds. The basket and watering can are amazing. Thank you so much, Robin. I appreciate it. There were six of these right here for $5.99 and I was really considering getting those, but I did decide to leave them as well. They had some really pretty baskets here today. This one right here that I'm going to pick up, I thought instantly when I saw it, that would be cute with a plant inside of it. And then when I turned it over to check the price, which was $2.99, you can see there on the upper left hand corner, it looks like somebody had used it for a plant. So I thought that would be a really, really cute idea. If you'd like to be our commenter shout out in our next video, make sure that you comment on each and every one of our videos. We love to hear from you and we love doing the commenter shout out each video. So make sure that you comment every time for your chance to be the shout out. Right after this basket right here, we're going to get into another thing that I picked up on my birthday day from Goodwill. Just bear with me on the clip. It got a little windy outside when I was filming this one, so just bear with me. Hey girls! <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> they crack me up when they start running. Here's my three beautiful white girls. <laughs> okay, the last thing I have to show you is this thermos, and I actually got this from Goodwill for $1.99, and I love the thermoses, especially around the holiday time, and I did not have one that was in this metal. So it has a little bit of wear on the top, but that does not bother me at all, and I was able to get this beauty at Goodwill for just $1.99, so, and I love the height on this one. It's really tall, and I like to have different heights of things, so it was just really happy me to grab this one up for just a dollar ninety nine. This was a really interesting piece here for $2.99. I'm very curious about what that means right there on the bottom. And I thought and thought and thought about getting this because I thought it would be pretty in the bedroom to just kind of put a necklace or earrings in at night. But I saw this chip right here and such a bummer because I thought that was a super neat piece. If you have any idea what that writing means, let me know down in the comments. We are now at the third store of the day and I have been to this one before we were on our way home thought we would go ahead and stop and check it out I thought that this stool right here was really nice it was eight dollars though but I thought it would be a perfect little plant stand This little piece right here for $2.50 I was considering for fall and I also have those colors in my kitchen but I did decide to pass on it and then they had this plate set right here and they had winter and summer and spring. They were made in Japan, $1 a piece, Courier and Ives, but I did decide to pass on these because they did not have the one for fall. They just had the three. So I did go ahead and decide to leave those there today, but they are super pretty and were in really, really great shape. And then this little vase right here, also from Japan, was sweet. I just don't do the fruits. So I saw a lot of neat things today, just nothing that really fit my style. But again, from Japan and only $1.50 for that cutie. We have now made it home on this beautiful Saturday and can you believe it? I did not purchase a single thing today. I don't think that has ever happened before, but I still hope that you enjoyed the video and enjoyed seeing what I bought when I was out shopping on my birthday day. Be sure to check out the thrifting playlist right here on your screen for lots of thrifting fun and come back Monday at 5 p.m. for a new thrifting adventure. Bye guys.